Hey folks, this is Jim with 9to5Software. It's only first month of the year and we've already had two great multiplayer games drop. First one was Pal World, which came out last week, and today they just dropped another banger, The Enshrouded. So in this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to set up an Enshrouded server hosting. In this tutorial, we'll go with a dedicated server provider. However, we're also going to be publishing another tutorial for setting it up on your local machine. Anyway, let's get started. In this tutorial, we'll go with Game Team, but process should be similar with other hosts. And uh, just a quick reminder before we dive in, make sure to use the coupon code in the description to get 20% off on your enshrouded server. So first things first, head over to Game Team and find whatever game you want to play. It's pretty straightforward. Scroll down a bit and you should see Enshrouded right away on the top since they're the first service provider to offer Enshrouded when it came out today. Select Enshrouded from the list of games and, um, if for any reason you don't see it on the list, just make sure you're in the right section or use the search function. They've got a bunch of games there so it can be a tiny bit overwhelming, but, you know, Enshrouded should be there. Once you found your game, click on the image and you'll be taken to features and stuff. Let's not waste too much of our time here, so just click on that big inciting button called Start Your Server, and this is where we configure our server, folks. All right, once you select Enshrouded, it's time to um, dive into the details of your server. Now you'll come to the server configuration settings, guys. Here's where some people might get a, uh, a little bit intimidated, but don't worry. It's not as complex as it looks. You'll see options for the number of slots, which is basically just the number of players who can join your server at once. Then there's RAM allocation, which is where you decide how much memory you're dedicating to your server for um, peak performance. If you're not sure, there's usually a recommended setting based on the number of slots you chose. And yes, you can typically upgrade this later if you need more power. You'll need to choose your location, RAM, CPU priority, database, backup management, and things like that. So let's go over these options one by one. First and most important of all is server location. This one is key because you'll want to choose a location closest to where you are, or sometimes more importantly, where most of your players are, to reduce latency. You know, that annoying lag that can just totally ruin a game. Oh, and um, this is important. Make sure to check off any additional features you might want like automatic backups, or say, a MySQL database if you're planning on getting fancy with mods or custom plugins. Now, once you've customized all your settings to your liking, you'll see the pricing breakdown. Gameteam.io does a pretty good job at giving you a transparent cost analysis, so there shouldn't be any um, nasty surprises there. When you're ready, go ahead and click on Continue to move on to the Payment section. Paying is straightforward as well. They usually support various payment methods like PayPal, credit cards, and sometimes even cryptocurrencies. Just follow the prompts, enter your details, and uh, confirm your purchase. Once the payment goes through, you're almost there. Game Team will start setting up your enshrouded server, which uh, can take a couple of minutes. While you're waiting, why not take this time to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already? It really supports the channel and you'll get to stay on top of all the latest host your own server guides and tips. When your server is ready, you'll get a notification. Now, navigating back to your dashboard on Game Team, you'll be able to access your server's control panel. This is where the real fun begins. Right, so your first stop is the Startup tab. Here, you can tweak your enshrouded server settings like server name and password, just make sure your server is offline before making any changes. Really dig into those settings to um, make your server experience unique. Apart from that, there aren't many settings you can tweak like Minecraft or Pal World, but the game is still in early release, so soon they should come out with more fixes and features. Anyway, once you're happy with your settings, it's time to launch. Hit the Start button. Should be a big button on top left side of your screen. Can't miss it and your server will go live. This could take a minute or two, so just hang tight while it boots up. After the server is online, 
there's one last step before you can start inviting friends or advertising your server to the world. And that's the all-important IP address and port number. You'll find these in the Server Dashboard tab within the Control Panel. Make a note of these details because you'll um, need to share them with your players to connect. Ah, and just so you know, with Game Team, you might have the option to use a custom domain name instead of an IP address, which is definitely a nice touch if you want something that's easier to remember. Congratulations! Your very own enshrouded server on GameTeam.io is now up and running. Go ahead and test it out. Jump into the game, enter your server details, and make sure everything's running smoothly. Once you've given it the all clear, share that IP or domain with your buddies, or pop it into a server list to attract more players. And hey, don't forget to manage your server regularly. Check in on performance, update your mods, maybe chat with your community to see what changes they might uh, be interested in. Running a server is kind of like, you know, a garden. It does best with a little love and care. So, that was a bit of a journey, huh? But you made it through, and now you're equipped to host an amazing game server. If you have any questions or run into um, any issues, pop them down in the comments, and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that all the links you need are in the description below. I'm Jim with 9to5Software, and I'll see you next time. Good luck, and happy gaming.